Well, now let's have a look at uh, how today's four semi-finalists have reached this particular stage. And starting off with Morton Frost, the Great Dane, he has reached the last five finals. If he makes this one, it'll be the sixth. He comes up against Eddie Kanayawan of Indonesia. Frost yet to drop a game in this championship. In the second half of the draw, Steve Badley against Ichuk Sugiato. Derek, your thoughts briefly on these two matches? Well, I think that uh, looking at the, the British uh, job here, it's going to be a very difficult one against a former world champion and very tricky player in uh, Sugiato. And of course, Frost in the other Ladies half, uh, he's almost oh invincible, but we'll see how he performs here today. Japan. Steve Badley, the 1986 Commonwealth Champion and also the runner-up in the British Airways Masters in 1986. Steve Badley of England, aged 25. And his opponent, Ichuk Sugiato from Indonesia, also aged 25, the second seed here at Wembley, the 1986 World Cup champion, champion of the world in 1983. Ladies and gentlemen, on my left, Ichuk Sugiato, Indonesia. <laughs> on my right, Steve Badley, England. Steve Badley to serve. So, so Love all. Love all. Play. So it's Steve Badley then. Love all first game. Well, Derek, let's get your early thoughts on this particular game. Badley's tactics, what should they be? Well, not to play the long rallies like this opening one, that's for sure. Uh, he really must attack as much as possible. And he's got to be cautious of the very tricky style of Sugiata, who trends to keep the shuttlecock flat. Um, he's the stronger of the two if it's going to be a long game, and so he'll be happy to just play the rallies out. Good. So, so, love all. Still love all. Two, one. So Steve Badley needing to play very positively here in the early stages of this match. Well, Sugiato shouldn't hold too many fears for Steve Badley, but after all, Badley has played him and beaten him before. Well, he has, but he's also lost to him, so it, it's uh, a difficult one to predict. And uh, a lot depends on how easily he can penetrate in the early stages of the game, because as the match progresses, he's certainly going to tire. And if he can't hit through in the early stages, then he hasn't much chance later on. Well, Sugiato serving. Love one, first game. One all. One all. is good. 2 1. 2 1. 3 1. Well, we haven't had a British finalist here at the All England since 1938 when. Ralph Nichols won the last of his five titles. So if Badley reaches the final, he will have achieved something that no British player has done since before the war. Two, 
It's a great angle, cross court from the left hand of Bradley. Three all. Five, four, five. Oh, nice play from Badley, pushing the shuttlecock deep but flat into the backhand of Sugiato and then moving fast onto the net for a loose require. So he's certainly doing what he might have hoped in that his smash is penetrating the defence at this early stage of the game. Mustn't forget, Derek, that uh, Sugiato had a tough three-game quarter-final against our old Australian friend CU. Do you think it uh, might be taking a little bit of toll on him? He seems a little bit sluggish. I know it's early days yet, though. Have you, have you seen his legs, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, certainly probably the most uh, developed physically in the legs of any player in the, the competition. Um, and really, he can run around there forever. Um, so it may have affected him psychologically, but physically he's capable of going the full distance. Service over, five, four. Well, badly, his nose just in front in this opening game of the semi-final. 5-4, he leads. It's his serve. 5-4. has been suggested, Derek, that uh, Sugiato is not exactly four. a great fan of European conditions, prefers the steamy heat of his native land. Yes, yeah, so that's certainly true. Um, again, the fitness element uh, plays a more important role out in the Far East but uh, nevertheless he is capable of playing to a very high standard in European conditions and uh, well I think that uh, it would be an absolutely wonderful win for Steve to be able to come through this one Nice variation of the clear from Badley. First, the really high loopy clear, and then the attacking one, concentrating mainly on the backhand of Sugiato. Well, it was good judgment. Well there, and unfortunately, a rather long rally. But nevertheless, Badley 6-4. If this does turn into a, a war of attrition, Derek, and signs that it might be doing that, who would your money be on? Oh, without a doubt, Sugiato. It's not uh, Badley's style. He is very strong, but uh, in the match against Sustanto in the previous round, he did show signs of blowing towards the end of both games. And uh, he's really vicious on the attack. He played tight net. He'll try and get the attack and he'll five, try and win six. quick points. Well, 5-6, Sugiato trails, his serve, first game. Six all. Six all. A decisive smash, really giving Steve Badley no chance at all. He's a difficult player, Sugiato, because he has a very short racket action and he delays the decision to select the direction for a shot until the very last moment. Eight, well, he nicely got up to that one. Those 
Big legs of him. Seven, six. Helping all the way there. And puts him 7-6 in front. Out. Eight six. Seven, seven, five, six. Reflex defence by Badley. Oh, he did really well to get that one up from his chin, but uh, Sugiaro has the look, Nine, and the six. shuttle just tipples over the top of the tape. Steve Badley's got to be careful with those short lifts Ten, to the forehand six. of Sugiato. 10-6. A bit of a gap starting to open up now in this first game. Sugiato leads. 11-6. The style of game really is suiting uh, Sugiato down to the ground because he's managed to get in quite a lot of long rallies in the early part of the game. And now, of course, he's managing to get quite a healthy lead. Which is going to make uh, Steve have to work very hard to catch up. Sign, really, of uh, a class player. Took a couple of, uh, couple of rallies just to take a look at Steve Badley and 12, let him have a few six. points. Well, let him have a few points, but uh, Badley got himself a few points and suddenly uh, Sugiato started playing. And look at him now. 12-6. Yeah, I think Sugiato's uh, been patient really throughout this whole game. Badly didn't start off too badly, but I, I really feel that the tension was there with him. And, uh, you know, you, you almost play a game before you get on when you're that tight. And so he could tire rather quickly. Well, he's certainly reached a, a personal milestone of his own, Steve Badly, reaching these semi finals. First British player to do so in the men's single since 1939, so we mustn't deny him that achievement. So, 7-12, badly trails. First game. Eight twelve. So the serve, still with Steve Badley, Hitchuk Sugiato receiving, 8-12, first game. Very tight net shot from Badley and a short lift from Sugiato. 9-12. Well, Badley certainly not lying down and playing dead. Well, he certainly won't do that for some time to come. I think he's made up his mind, he has to attack, he's hitting the shuttlecock down a lot more than his opponent. There it goes again, and the point is hit. That's right, 10-12. Let's just remind ourselves that the winner of this particular semi-final plays either Morton Frost of Denmark or Eddie Kanayawan of Indonesia. That's out. Good service game 12, for Badley, that. 10. Worth four points to him. Sugiato serving, 12-10, first game. Good game. Great play, Steve. Great play. He's having to work really hard on that attack. He's seven, seven, ten, playing twelve. some four or five attacking shots to get the point, so it must be really tiring for him. So, badly at 10 12, first game. Defensive plays from Steve. Oh, that's a nice delicate cross-court backhand from Sugiato. 
after being under some terrific pressure there. 7, 7, 12, but once again, some tremendous defence from Badley. Still with Sugiato, 12 10, first game. Delightful. A nice variation of pace there from Steve Badley. He's got Sugiato back on his heels, expecting the smash. So once again, then it's Badley at 10 12. Yeah, Steve's lift to the forehand of Sugiardo gets him into trouble time and time again. So, a slight stalemate in this first game. The service changing hands, but still Sugiardo 12 10. Confirmation of the score, Sugiato to serve, 12-10, first game. Well, Badley did well on that exchange, it's usually difficult to beat the Far Eastern players with the flat and fast game. Service over, 12, 10. Sugiato. Fine return. It was another very vital Service stage over, in the game. 10, really, Sugiato, uh, if he goes any points ahead now, Steve is going to lose a lot of heart. Well, badly hanging there by the skin of his teeth in this game certainly will not be denied, but once again, can't capitalise on his serve, can't narrow that gap, still 12-10, Sugiato. Ah, 13-10. Signs of uh, some tiredness there from Steve Badley, about a foot out that shot. It went over, I believe. No, it didn't 14, bounce back. Point, I was going to say it was about time he had a bit of luck, but nevertheless, the luck went to Sugiato, and it's game point at 14-10. Four, three, seven, nine. Desperate retrieval by Angley and that very ambitious. Backhand is out. <laughs> it really was ambitious. He turned full circle Seven on that backhand. <laughs> well, Steve Badley lives to fight on, but he's 10-14 down now in this first game. In my opinion, the whole match hinges on these next couple of rallies. Sugiato is looking That's very out. fresh. So, still game point. That's with 14, the Chuck Sugiato. 10. That's nice, yes. That's twice he's managed to put in that cross-court drop shot from round the head. So, that's the second game point Badley has served. Served with him, 10-14. Well, one point, pull back, 11-14. Steve really needing to take some time and concentrate between the points at this stage. Nice point.
Karkas rush there from Badli gives him another point. Sugiato making the mistake of cross court clearing, leaving his court wide open for the smash. And that pulls it back to 12 14. Thirteen fourteen. What a terrific rally, some great penetrating play down the line. And judgment of a fraction of an inch there from Badley. Certainly is a grueling opening game, this. What a pity. Yeah, that's unlucky. So, having pulled back from ten fourteen to thirteen fourteen, Steve Badley once again. Loses serve, Sugiato, game point, 14-13. Tricky backhand service to get it underway and, and gets the game. Tension there on the last shot, pressure just a bit too much for Steve Badley. Terrific game. Well, I don't think we could have asked for a more exciting and seesawing opening game than that, Derek. 15-13, Hitchcock Sugiato taking it. Yes, a bit bad news there for Badley because he really needed that first game. He has the style of play such that his attack is at its very best early on in the game and it can only deteriorate as he gets Second more game. and more tired. Sugiato there, he's Please, almost got springs in his legs. Nine, Still looking relatively fresh. Yes, yeah, Sugiato aiming to become level. the first Indonesian player to reach the final since the great Liem Sui King achieved that feat in 1984. And in fact, Liem Sui King, the last Indonesian winner in 1981. Hi. Well then, Ichuk Sugiato, the 1983 world champion, to serve, he leads one love, one game to love in the semi-final. Service over. Love all. First blood, second game, Steve Badley. Still love all. Great play. A nice One depth love. touch from Badley to take the point. And he's going flat out here. Great Two smash and very quick onto the net for the return. It really is win or bust now, isn't it? It certainly is. He, he's going to be uh, on for a pretty hard match, whatever happens now. And I think that uh, he's decided to go all out. Quite right in the decision. Let's seven, see if he can do it. Well, a good start by Steve Badley. Goes into a two-love lead. So let's see what Sugiato can do. Good. Shuttle is in. One, two. One, two. It's very difficult to judge the shuttle in this hall because there is a fair bit of drift because it's such a large arena and uh, one end differs from the other in that one's a little faster and therefore on the change it's difficult to adjust to the differences. So that lead of Steve Badley's short lived, two all now, second game. And remember that Hitchuk Sugiato took the first game. And what a cracking first game it was too. 15 points to 13. Well done, Steve. Three, two. Service over, two, three. Steve Badley appears to be at the faster side now and he's finding it difficult to judge the length.
Oh, what a brilliant defense there. He's right on top of his legs when he just clipped it back. It's his short action that allows him to do this and very strong wrist. And again, uh, Steve Bradley's mitt judging the length. The shuttle seems to be hanging in the air and then just falling down right on the line. Well, Steve seems to be uh, doing well with these three, flat rallies. Certainly there, Sugiato was doing three. less of the work and the running around court before he got a relatively easy opportunity to put the shuttle away. Four. Yes, that he did. And it's Sugiato to serve now, 4-3, second game. Well, what do you think of that, eh? <laughs> Can't believe it. I mean, Steve had it about... Six Five, inches above three. the tape, and I'm sure he'd given it up as dead. What's that about fortune favouring the bowl, Derek? It's certainly <laughs> right. Some uh, very, very fast reactions shown there. Absolutely lightning. 5-3. Make that 6-3 six, six, now. Three. Unfortunately, that's the sort of thing to break the spirit. I just hope that uh, Steve can stay with it. Seven, three. Sugiato now, 7-3. And Badley needs to do something remarkable and quickly. He's trying everything desperately to get the shuttle back, but uh, he's under too much pressure from the attack of Sugiato. And it took within touching distance now of what would be his first appearance in an All England final. Never really done that well at Wembley on a couple of uh, previous occasions he's been here. Steve unlucky with the push, Nine, it's out the side. Three. And for the first time in this match, badly starting to look just a little bit dispirited now. And he's asking uh, Sue Smallwood about the speed of the shuttles, but I'm um, Sure that it's just the difference in ends with the way that drift moves around this big arena. So they're just testing the shuttles to make sure that they are in fact going the right speed. And that little break can only be good for Steve Badley. Eight, three. Sorry. Nine, three. Well, nine, three, in fact. Sugiato. Sugiato finding the length much easier in this game and really pushing his clears to the back of the court, putting Badley under a lot of pressure. And... A salute to the crowd. Look, well, that is support, it must be said, Sugiato, here at Wembley today. Well, there's always uh, lots of Orientals in the audience, preventing any real bias. 11-3. Well, the end, I fear, approaching rapidly. 11-3, Sugiato, second game. And will it be an all-Indonesian final? 
Or will Richard Sugiato come up against the three-time All England champion and top seed Morton Frost of Denmark? I suppose we can almost claim Morton Frost English by proxy. After all, he now lives in North London. But Steve Badley, well, he's had a fine tournament. He mustn't uh, get away from that, Derek, as, as indeed did, uh, did Darren Hall. Uh, the two boys acquitted themselves very well. Uh, yes, it's um, a long, long time since we had uh, two players in the quarterfinals of the men's singles, and both players have played terrifically well. And Steve's still fighting a way out there. He's got a, a long way to make up, 4-11, but uh, he's certainly got the fighting spirit to give it a go. Well, it's good to see if he's going to go down, Steve Badley, he's going to go down fighting 5-11. Oh, nice idea, that cross-court attacking clear, but it's about six inches wide. Service over, 5-11. <laughs> Service over, 11-5. Gesture of annoyance and frustration by Steve Badley. That's a problem when you know you've got so many points to make up, you really do try to play the shuttle just too tight. And then, of course, a flurry of error usually follows. And that was just a cat's whisker out, but far enough to give uh, Sugiato another point at 12-5. Yes, it's a shame it looked good all the way until it landed just out. That's good, though. Yeah, Steve seems to do very well when he hits the shuttle flat and Seven fast five, and then waits for the short lift. Well, that's well back to the wall stuff from Steve Badley, Commonwealth champion. 5-12. Well, he really put everything into that last smash. He knew Six, it was do or die there. And he's looking a little tired, to say the least. Tired or not, he's still got the strength to really punish home those short lifts. If he can play tight at the net and get the lift short, then he could stand a chance of getting a number of quick points here. Now oh, that's out. He just can't seven, judge seven, the clear. Seven. Shuttle flying very fast from his side. 12-7 then, 13-7, Sugiato two points seven. away from a place in the final. And that match point is seven. match point to Ichuk Sugiato of Indonesia, 15-13, 14-7.
made Steve. Crowd. Well, it's a good crowd here at Wembley. Hardly dared breathe during that rally. But he's still in there. It was very difficult to see who was going to win that rally. And S Steve saw the opportunity with a cross court smash, and down it went. So, 7 14. Oh, dear me, that's. Uh, Disappointing because he had a nice chance at the net on the backhand kill and he just couldn't put it home. So once again, match point. Mitchell Sugiato, 14-7. And that is it. It took Sugiato, the number two seed from Indonesia, has beaten Britain's Steve Badley by 15-13. 15-7 to reach the final of the All England Championships.